So the next fight I want to talk about is Derek Brunson versus Israel Adesanya. And before I really get into this and dive in and dissect it for you guys, make sure you comment, like, and subscribe the video. Let me know who you think is going to win. And as always, give me your thoughts on how we're doing as a channel. Make sure you're part of it as we grow. But without further ado, on the ninth fight of the card, we have a bout in the middleweight with the last airbender versus a seasoned vet in Derek Brunson. So let's just get into these guys. Israel Adesanya, 29 years old, former Muay Thai or current Muay Thai competitor, boxer, holds a perfect professional record of 14 wins, zero losses, and stands at six feet, four inches tall, compared to the next Anderson Silva, the new age Anderson Silva, is currently on a three-fight win streak within the UFC over Rob Wilkinson, Marvin Vittori, who just recently got flagged for USADA, and in June against Brad Tavares. Now, one thing I do have to say about Mr. Adesanya, all three of those fights happened in 2018. This is his fourth fight in, of 2018. Rob Wilkinson was in February, Marvin was in April, Brad was in July, and now in November, we have... Derek Brunson, who at 34 years old, standing six foot one inches, training out of Jackson Wink MMA, holds a professional record of 18 wins, six losses, has fought the best of the best in the middleweight division, a game ready fighter, former contender of the t for the title, and can easily string up enough victories. And a victory over Adesanya could propel him back into title conversation. He's fought the likes of Ronaldo Souza, Leoto Machida, Dan Kelly, Anderson Silva, Robert Whitaker, has victories over Uriah Hall, Sam Alvey, Lorenz Larkin, has fought Yoel Romero, Chris Lieben. This guy has truly fought everybody that can, you know, that's come from the middleweight division. And so in this fight, ladies and gentlemen, it really boils down to experience versus the new up-and-coming youth. Of course, the youth being Israel Adesanya, and the experienced fighter is undoubtedly Derek Brunson. Now, a lot of people have already jumped on the last style bender's hype train, and it's for good reason. This guy has the arrogance, the talk, the looks, the skill set, comparable to Anderson Silva in a time where we need another fighter, another contestant in the middleweight division. But one thing people are overlooking is Derek Brunson. Now this guy has losses and has victories. He's had his up and down within the UFC in his MMA career. But this guy is an all around fighter with dynamite in his hands. If you look at his 18 victories, 11 of which, which is 61%, have come by KO or TKO and only four by decision with the rest being submission. So I truly believe Derek Brunson if Adesanya is not careful, can clip Adesanya and take the victory. However, I do have to take into consideration the tools that Adesanya brings to his fights and the tools that he's brought in all of his fights so far, and that is his distance control. It is the fact that he can distance himself with his kicks, jabs, hooks, and he has impressive takedown defense. He is able to present his cardio in a way where if the opponent is taking a breather or is exhausted, he knows when to pounce, where to hit. In the Brad Tavares fight, we saw this guy hit Brad Tavares' stomach, liver, elbow him, knee him. Really hit Brad Tavares with every sort of striking technique there is. It really shows you the skill and how skillful this guy is as a stand-up fighter. Boxing. Muay Thai traditional style we haven't really seen his ground game but we have seen in his last fight some considerable takedown defense with all the momentum with the age with the skills i do have to give this to adesanya i feel like he can really keep derek at bay make sure he avoids those heavy overhands make sure if derek does attempt a takedown can stuff him and make him pay i give this to adesanya by way of decision or a late round stoppage in the third and maybe even the second. But let me know what you guys think. Do you think Adesanya can easily cruise to victory here? Or do you guys actually think Brunson has a chance at making one of the biggest upsets in UFC history?